So as you all might know, um, I'm over here working and Derek is sailing in Lankawing. So he's asked me to watch something and, and give a comment. So let's see what, he's, what it's all about. In the land of eagles, one man sets out on a quest for adventure, driven by the wind, in search of remote beauty and spectacular scenery. Braving the elements and adverse conditions, this is his story. Welcome to Lankawi. <laughs> he is so dramatic, right? <laughs> Excellent video, love. I love it. <laughs> And the tour begins. The first leg of the trip takes us from Rebak Island, past the island of Singapore, and then heading east to visit the freshwater lake on Dayang Island. Welcome to the lake of the pregnant maiden. Don't see a lake? It's right behind there. There are two ways you can get there. We can go to the ferry and then take a walk across. But apparently there's a very nice, exciting, adventurous way that you can cross over here. And that's the way we do it. So let's go check it out. Legend has it that a young princess used to bathe in the lake. Little did she know, hiding in the bushes was a young warrior spying on her. The two finally met, fell in love and had a son together. Unfortunately, the son did not survive and they laid him to rest in the lake. She also blessed the lake so that any woman who swam in the lake could be more fertile. How's the service? Where do I get a water? All right, thanks for your help, yeah? End of day one of the Tour de Lankawi. Today we did uh, Lake of the Pregnant Maiden, it was awesome and I'm now in a nice secluded protected anchorage. I haven't seen another soul for hours. The sun is going down and uh, just going to have an ice cold beer, shower, eat, see what tomorrow brings. Cheers. So day two of Tour de Lankawi and this is what we're dealing with and this started at 6 30 this morning it's now 9 30 so three hours so we're waiting for a gap to clear before we carry on it's showing no signs of letting up so it's gonna get going and at least it's not stormy and squally so the vis is good not much wind it's just wet that's all not a problem let's get going but first I gotta take care of that. So next up we travel around the chain of islands and all the way up north into the bustling Kua town. Here we plan to overnight and stock up on some petrol and two-stroke lubricant for our outlook. for my mission getting some petrol and some two-stroke lube and I've just been informed that I'm too close to the ferry lane so I need to up and move so as you might know our videos are funded through our kind sponsors at patreon for which we are extremely grateful I recently got a message from somebody named Hugh in Scotland Hugh has a Moody 30 1978 model which is refitting and wanted to know how he could contribute without going to the Patreon route. So he was very kind and has made us a very very generous donation through PayPal and for which we are extremely grateful. Thanks so much Hugh and hope maybe see you on the water one day. Cheers. 
Day three, let's go. So every day starts the same. Prep of the boat. Make sure I've got everything here. Tell the pilot, got my water ready to go. Instruments powered on. Even on a day without wind, just motoring along, things can get a little bit rolly. So everything that can be smashed around gets packed away here in the sink so it can't move. And everything else is being packed away into its place. Table's been cleared so no missiles flying around. Everything is secure, safe to go. In the head, close all seacocks, just for safety. This leg is a scenic yet relatively shallow route and we're traveling up north to make our way to Hole in the Wall. Here we plan to get in the dinghy and explore some mangroves. Alright, taking it very easy through here. Depth now is 2.6 meters, so just trying to follow the contour line, get across to there. in this little bay until all this clears because that's where we're going and I sure don't want to fight with anything we got time we got time
So while I'm racing and dodging these guys all around me, I forget to make sure I don't run aground. Leaving Hole in the Wall, we travel along the northern part of Langkawi and head towards the tallest waterfall on the island, Timaru. Next time around we complete the tour, stopping off at Datai Bay before heading back to Rebuck Island. Then it's time to pack up, go and fetch Nicks and head back to Cape Town for some holiday time with friends and family. Thanks for watching, we'll see you then.